on this episode of Steampunk, we had a Casablanca aviation inspired fan. <laughs> well, sort of, it's a Franken fan. That was a you <laughs> made them a Casablanca motor. Random hugger housing just happened to look nice. And a propeller from an antique store. Probably just a cheap wall hanger one, about fifth I made about a fifteen degree pitch. Two blades, forty two inch span. That's which housing was originally white. I just stripped the paint and polished it to aluminum, though it's a real chrome cap. So this is four speed. It has very low capacitor values than you'd expect because the motor's only barely loaded enough. To get a speed are about 85 RPM apart. Anyway, I'm going to start it up on winter low or aesthetic low. So this is about 85 RPM, but even at only 85 RPM, it's still moving good air. Or the speed, you can feel a faint breeze, which would be a good winter low. Now I'll put it from aesthetic low to real low. So real low, which is about 170 RPM. And it's putting out a noticeable breeze now. Moving a fair good amount of air. This is a good low speed for normal weather. Excuse the weird flicker, it's a uh, relatively early LED bulb before they put good filter capacitors in the filament ones. Now I'll go up to medium. And the motor has a nice running modal medium. The speed is now a rather crazy for medium. Two hundred sixty some uh, RPM, two hundred fifty five RPM actually. That would be high or most 42 inch fans, but keep in mind this only has two blades. The airflow is of course up again and is now basically equivalent to any normal 42 inch fan other than a good stack motor one or something. Or a higher end hunter. Now let's put them full blast, real high. So now it's going at about 340 RPM, and the airflow is now, I think this is one of the most powerful 42 inch fans I had, alongside my Crompton Greaves Industrial, which blows any other 42 inch fan I have away, my Fasco Parlor Fan 44, my Hunter Coastal Breeze 44, you know, it's really, it's better than any of them or the plastic Emerson 44. The only one that's better is the Crompton Greens, but that's an industrial fan. So, but the fact that we're comparing it is to give you an idea of how good this thing is. As far as it looks cool. I'll just turn off the wall for spin down. And I do have plans. I got a second propeller at a flea market. It's a lot bigger. So I'm going to build a second airplane fan that's 60 inch, also using a Casablanca motor. This one, that one will be an XLP. This one is a uh, Astrosyn that needs bearings. Unfortunately, since Astrosyn used 6005 bearings, they tend to wear out a little faster, but they're still smooth. The spin down is still excellent, so I'm not going to tear it apart for new bearings just yet. Probably in a year or two. 
I just have other projects to worry about. Anyway, that's a uh, pretty... So that's all for National Ceiling Fan Day. Hope you enjoyed.